So before we begin, I just want to, I didn't know this until today, that the two of you are actually current collaborators on some research. Could you just, just highlight yeah. what that is? What are you doing? I mean, Brian and I have been working together for years. Yeah. Mostly, we've been thinking about extraspatial dimensions mm. and different cosmological implications, implications for theoretical physics, you know, hiding you some dark energy and some extra dimensions. As one does. As one does, yes. You're thinking about higher dimensions. Yes. Because the, I mean, the three plus time dimensions are not enough for you. Well, you know, even Einstein, when he started working, wondered why three. I mean, it's a curious question. Once you start... Well, it's a magic number. Yeah? Is it Thank your you. favorite number? <laughs> wait, wait. Those so, are schoolhouse rock people right there. <laughs> they count to three. They got it right away. Okay, but uh, how many dimensions are there, really? Uh, we don't know, but certain theories tell us that it could be much more than the ones that meet the eye. So it could be as many as 10 or 11. Oh, like gender. I huh. said it, and now I'm getting arrested. <laughs> you just make up other dimensions... I mean, it sounds like you're pulling it out of your ass. I mean, sorry. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 it's all. He didn't from... deny that immediately. <laughs> <laughs> that was <laughs> worried about this. Okay. Well, partly it is, but it was also deep mathematical reasons that lead us to these ideas. Yeah, so. and you know, we figure if nature uh, can try some experiments, she will. So every okay. possibility might actually happen. Okay. So we're just exploring. All right. How much <laughs> weed do you guys smoke? 